Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Hester and welcome to Space Engineers. And today I am here to showcase the flying brick. It's, uh, the name is a work in progress. Anyway, so, yes, this is the overpowered Mega Miner. I've, I want to say two weeks now. I have built in survival mode. Why? Because... Well, why the fudge not? Also, here are some screenshots that will uh, show some of the progress I did in... Uh... Oh yeah, that's right, I was working on that. That will showcase the... Um... Let me just do this real quick to save on... Ow! Okay. There. Projectors should be off because there's no freaking. No, oh, never mind. Anyway, so, yes, the Mega Miner. As you can see, it is essentially a flying brick. But that is because I wanted to maximize the amount of um, refining and, most importantly, storage to the ship. Because, as you can see from this mining design, uh, yeah, you, you, you're sensing a common theme, except I jury-rigged a bunch of cargo containers because storage became an issue. Anyway, let me showcase the insides first, and for actually, let's not show you the engineering area just yet. The engineering area, oh, it's, it's impressive, even by my standards. Well, it's still not done, but... I wanted to showcase this before I actually started um, mining with it. Anyway, let me turn off my light. As you can see, this is the ore storage compartment area. And yes, once again, in keeping with everything that I build on my ships, you will be able to access without a jetpack. The reason being because, in all honesty, sometimes you may end up without hydrogen and in an emergency situation, be it a civilian ship or, more importantly, a military ship, you don't have the time to actually get a new hydrogen bottle, even though you should really have three of them in your inventory, um, depending on the circumstance. But um, this ship is essentially not for the average end user it's more it has more to do with um businesses and corporations of space engineers um specifically if we go all the way down here directly ahead of us let me just uh cut in through this is the large tier 4 drill yes this is overpowered however it it's made up for the fact that the Xenu uh, core here is very annoying. It let, let let's not talk about. It. If anyone uses that mod for the drills, you know why. It's ugh. basically it's like the um, power cell. If you grind it, it just turns into well, in this case, uranium. That's a Anyway, so, yes, we have, I want to say, six rows of uh, cargo containers, the azimuth cargo containers, um, with a layer being five cargo, yeah, and then th uh, two deep, so you can mine for ex extended periods of time, and so it, it's all good, and thank you for the autosave. And as you can see, we got these nice, lovely lights um, all throughout, just so that way we can actually see without needing our own. And of course, we got some more uh, cargo containers because I wanted to maximize space and I really didn't feel like grinding down the wall to shift it. Plus, I needed something extra to hide uh, some more gyroscopes and all that. Let me just cheat here and hop down. You will see throughout a lot of my designs stuff like this, where I try to maximize the space. And to me, it's not, it's wasted space if, uh, no pun intended to the YouTuber, but, um, 
basically I want everything to be accessible or at least their control panel to be accessible so you will see a lot of uh, like gyroscopes being placed like this just because if you need to fix it or whatever in a role-playing setting you might need to go okay run a diagnostic blah 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 anyway so moving along we are going to go through this air oh by the way it's all pressurized so and uh, I'll show you the top which I'm firmly proud of but uh, we do have an airlock system in every area so if there's an area that's decompress uh, that suffers decompression not the the entire ship is not going to be affected anyway here is the ore refining uh, deck or compartment I should say uh, let me find a oh you've got to be kidding me I didn't put oh. Oh no, here they are. Okay, I forgot they're in the center, not off to the sides like usual. Um, I still need to work on the lighting and the central uh, um, conveyor line, but here we have the ore going through um, sorters because each row of um, refineries, as you can see, are all connected to one um, sorter. And for me, I actually have a blueprint of this saved to my blueprints, so when I do release this onto the Steam Workshop, I don't have an ETA because I will constantly be working on this and improving things, but um, basically, the whole idea is if, uh, if you don't have a sorted um, ore capacity, you tend to, well... If you mine constantly and your uh, drills get full, it just gets forced into the refineries. So it it becomes annoying. So this helps with um, storage management. Basically, in my current setup right now for this survival world that I have uh, going, the top or the bottom two here of, uh, well, the bottom layer I have six full lines of refineries dedicated to stone only, just because there's more stone than any freaking other material combined. And then it's one of everything else, including um, high, uh, helium and, um, what do you call it, uh, tungsten. They have their joint thing just because they're more of a specialty or because of one of the mods that I play. However, um, this central one right here is dedicated solely to ice. Basically, I have a life support mod that will turn the ice into um, dirty water because it's a part of the, um, the mod package. Basically, you can make purified drinking water and all that. But for me, it's, again, a business decision because the oxygen... Um, generator um, system on board this ship is um, basically well you'll see it but this ship does not use the ice it mines instead it's going to be used to well be sold so with that we shall mosey our way down to the next compartment which is whoops okay I, I I'll I'll fix that. Make a note. Anyway, now this is the ingot storage again. Um, we have more containers. However, instead of uh, what the ore processing, uh, or not processing, ore storage, we have 50% more containers in this room just because um, mining trips are going to be, well, long for a ship of this size. It's not like you're going to mine one asteroid and then return to base you're going to be out for a while and in i've done the math well i know a lot of people have done the math and to me the most efficient uh thing to store is ingots um aside from components but um basically so ultimately i'd like to refine everything into ingots and then move on and all that and I use the concrete mod, which is why I have so a lot of uh, dedication to the um, 
refining of stone instead of stone ejectors. Um, I still need to work on the lighting in this room. It It's going to be a while. But again, it's still a very much a work in progress. And this area, I'm actually proud of. This is the central stairwell that leads all throughout the, well, the height of the ship. And off to the sides here, we actually have the crew quarters. And here's a prototype of one of the rooms that I have um, designed. Um, I need to work on that, though, because any anyone can just see the poor miners. I might do communal toilets instead of just putting it in the rooms, but the rooms are still a work in progress. Anyway, moving along. Close that. And I am thinking about having a commons area. Um, well, actually, let me show you the, the middle deck. It should be just the deck above. And once again, this lovely stairwell. Basically, it it operates on the principle, at least here in America, I, I can't say about your, uh, Europe, I don't know the differences there, but um, you go up and down on, uh, well, you go up on the right and down on the left side, so I went with this. Uh, someone uh, let me know down below in the comments if that's uh, accurate with everything else, please. I like, I like learning about new cultures, leave me alone. Anyway, so here's the middle deck. I'm thinking aside from the kitchen and dining area, this is like the communal area, like the commons area, where you'd play pool together, you'd spend your off time, blah, blah, blah. Um, or possibly cryopods because of, uh, I remember in um, Homeworld where the, it was, I want to say Catalyst, the second game before Homeworld 2, where you had a mining ship and two-thirds of its crew were actually in cryopods because um, the ship was out for a year. They decided um, basically to, oh, this is an empty area that I can use. All right, this will be the cryopod, cryopod area. Okay, I'm going to have to grind that down. I assumed, uh, yeah, the... Yeah, this will be the cryopod area. You'll see I do have some cramped areas, like if we go down here, like this. Yeah. And we do have the azimuth battery, just because there needs to be a power backup system. Just because, well, reasons. But, yeah, I'm going to grind down this, uh... The start of this new floor and just work my way. Anyway, moving along... Nope, I need to go up uh, one more. Nope, I still need to go up. Oh, crap, I forgot how to get up. Oh, no, no, this is right. Okay, I, I need to work on that. Anyway, now here is what I am most proud of. We have the central power core, which... Um, is four X100 arc reactors for a total power output of 120 gigawatts of power. The reason being, as you will see when we get to the command center, is um, the thrusters. Which, hey look, we have some down here. Which is the tier four armored thruster because, well, I'm sure you saw on the outside, the ship has planetary entry thrusters. I... Oh, for fudge sakes. Don't worry, I'll fix that at some point. Anyway, but um, the central conveyor here actually links up to the azimuth connector... or er, not connectors. Azimuth containers. And then we have some more um, sorters that only allow magnesium and uranium to these assemblers. Um, you can switch them out for other things, like you need to perform maintenance, like say uh, a meteor hit the hull of the ship and you need to, well, basically fix it. So you could switch over. I'm still, I mean, I still have a lot of room to work with and I think I will have dedicated um, 
components area because the object of this ship is to sell the goods not use them unless that's what the business also does which is a shipyard conglomerate like Kuat Drive Yards and you have mining ships that go out mine the stuff and hey while you're at it bring some finished components back all we need really is steel plates and construction components because those take an age to build anyway so once again we have more of these stairs well catwalks um, I'm still working on the catwalk system I wasn't fully sure how things were going to be set up with the reactor and well eh, I'm still iffy on the whole conveyor loop right here except well really I don't want the arc fuel to be uh, pulled out of the ship so we'll see uh, again, some feedback would be nice. Anyway, so, basically, once again, this whole area is pressurized. This is actually the, the air system, which has its own dedicated, um, feeder lines, which, you know what, I'll, I'll show you, uh, that whole thing later. And I know YouTube really screws with, um, unlit areas, so I'll just... Turn on my light for now, and here is the command room. I know it's sparse, but I'm still working on it. We have, once again, an airlock system in, but a panoramic, uh, well, it's not... Damn reactor. There are some downsides to this, uh, setup, but... We have a nice LED system here where you actually have your, like, components list, or, well, everything list. And I think I missed up the layman. Or the naming. Anyway, I'll fix it later. But so you can basically see, okay, we're doing good on this. Um, switch over to increase blank production which is basically what you would do in a typical manner. And there's the exterior. And yes, leaving this block out was intentional. This ship does have a solar system, um, well, a solar power system, just because if you're idling like right now, you're not using that much power, so why not? And, as you can see, we have a lot of oxygen farms, because, again, the idea being, why use the ice for oxygen, even though, yes, you're going to need some hydrogen, but you're going to limit the amount that you actually use. Plus, and more importantly, why not sell the excess um, oxygen? Uh, uh, I need to show you yeah here we have the azimuth oxygen tank and this runs through the entire length in which you actually see let me just weld that back up in which you actually see the oxygen farm so it I, I like this now, you might be asking, if this is a giant boring machine, then why do you have a space dedicated to that? Well, there'd be method to my madness. And here is... Oh, holy crap. Yeah, the ship is not nimble. I will say that right now. But this is not the main control... Um, cockpit... It's in the control room. This is... Oh. This is for mining. And this is how you would typically mine an area. Basically, you would line yourself up with the top of the asteroid and um, a planet. So that way... The top of the ship is not going to, well, get clipped and you damage your 
farm or worse your um, solar panels which could further cause damage to the entire ship or storage hey, right I I did not set that up yet okay uh, one sec I moment the beta okay quickly do this Basically, what would be standard operating procedure is that the command bridge would say, all right, um, lead miner or whatever the position is called, you have the ship, you would turn off your inertia dampeners, and I found going forward two and a half meters a second is sufficient to actually... Um, bore through without causing any issues. Don't ask me what those issues are. And you just let the thing mine itself. Well, mine the asteroids or something like that. Okay, let's go to our... Come on. Yep, it's working. And so basically, you would just see the refineries that are set to individual, like the rest of these aren't filling up. That is intentional. Apparently I need, oh, I don't think I set the, oh. I'm going to have to look at the conveyor system again. Can we get a little more speed? Okay, nope, 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 nope. Two and a half meters a second. That, give or take half a meter. And... Oh, you are spawning in a new ship. Oh, goody, a raid. Okay, I know how to deal with this. Turn off the antenna. We're not here. Uh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, that antenna I'm not worried about, but this one, yes. Good thing I'm not recording survival, uh, survival, uh, let's play. <sighs> okay, um, quickly, quickly, I need to... Disable all antennas. Yes, this does work. And now you're probably wondering, how do you offload the materials? Well, it's actually simple. We have a conve uh, connector sticking out the back on, con on pistons. Hopefully this works for multiplayer, although if you build this ship in multiplayer, uh, good luck. That's all I can say. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Anyway, down here we have the planetary entry thrusters. Basically, the only thrusters that will stay on on the bottom would be these under normal operating uh, conditions. And then when it enters a planetary atmosphere, then these kick on. I have found that the tier 4 thrusters, yeah, they're they pretty much work so in atmosphere. Just not as powerful, but having the tier 4 does help. And so that pretty much does it. I mean, we do have some openings, like right here to some areas of the ship. Um, up here, we also have more airlocks in. Again, operating under the um, assumption that you're going to go... Um, 
in on the port side of the ship, or when you face it, it's to your right, and people come out this airlock just to make sure there's no um, cluttering in the actual operation of the ship. Um, I know it's ugly, and but it it gets the job done. And to me, that's if I was a business owner, this is perfect for my for my mining company or my shipbuilding company and I have a competitor that it or not a competitor but I have um, a mining vendor that sells me the ingots who well is being a complete bitch uh, for lack of a better term and so yeah why do I need this uh, this beast uh, well because I have two mega projects going on at the same well one mega one average the first is the imperial light cruiser directly in front um, i'm working on this as well and then we have this giant concrete slab now you're probably wondering why because why not plus what else am i supposed to use the stone for <laughs> So I need the raw materials to actually build these two, plus the other countless projects that you have been requesting. So with that said, that's going to do it for me. Um, I'm not sure when this ship will be on the Steam Workshop. I want to say by the end of the month, but now that it's done for the most part, um, what you see here could be the only thing that goes on to the Steam Workshop. Um, just because I am planning on moving, and so it's going to get hectic this, uh, well, this month. So we'll see. Um, down below in the uh, video description should be a link to my Steam Workshop. If it's not there now, it will be there eventually. Whether in it's, its current state for you to um, basically, um, how do you put it, to basically mess around with, customize yourself or just for you to explore, or hey, maybe you just want to blow up my hard work. The choice is yours. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, down below is a link to my Steam Workshop to where you can get this and many other creations I have built in Space Engineers. Yes, that was my knuckles, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Time to crash this bitch. Is there something wrong with me? Reinforcements on Actually, don't answer that. I'll just say ready yes. for action. Upgrade in progress. You've let unidentified. <laughs> <laughs> no! 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 No